Welcome to Bears in Exile. Today is Thursday, March the 14th, and this is a quick hit on Silver, most notably uh, AGQ, and is uh, just special for Mikhail. All right, so the um, question was asked, uh, where is Silver going uh, before, I think it was before the Open today, I think it was last night, but uh, anyways, and I said down um, in the case of AGQ, $35 was what I was looking for or at, and that I would explain why in a video. So here it is. Uh, starting off with the daily of AGQ, and it did move down today, not bad, and my bird is going nuts. Uh, she missed me, but uh, anyways. Uh, what do we have here? Well, we have an obvious line of support here. I'm just going to make a little rough. This is very rough. We'll call that the floor for the moment. And, you know, of course the people who don't want that breached don't want to go underneath that. But we're really darn close, and what do we see? Well, we don't really have too much of anything in the heat map. So we're not in danger of a bounce here simply because it went too far too fast. Um, that by itself, not a big deal. Uh, we have the 14 day RSI moving average rising, and we have the MACD itself rising. But you'll notice that everything else does not look healthy. CCI going down, stochastics going down, the RSI going down, the MACD histogram going down, and we're very close to support. And uh, so this looks like a secondary reset to me. We wanted to get all the way to the bottom, meet the uh, 14 day RSI, and then go up. Can it hold this level? before that happens. Um, just eyeballing it, I would say no. But this isn't exactly a bad thing. Because if you do break this, okay, let's say you do break this, uh, you're going to have the MACD histogram go down and probably make a higher low here and create positive divergence because it'll be somewhere in here, I think as far as 35, uh, simply because this will be a level that broke and then people will really start selling it. But that's just a uh, kind of a guess, but I think it's, that it's logical. And uh, say you dump out 36, 35, whatever, uh, you're probably not going to bust this, in which case you'll have nice positive divergence. You'll have the stochastics at the bottom, along with the CCI, the RSI, meeting up with the 14 day, and then they can all rise together. And then you have a proper bottom. Now to look at this in a different way, we will look at the internal structure of volume. And uh, there's that 35 level, and it's right in here at this previous low. It seems to me that that is a great place for this to go to. Certainly should be support. But beyond that, let's look at volume. All right, what do we see here? The two big ones. On balance volume, accumulation distribution. Accumulation distribution is a red and uh, could easily turn down from its trigger line. Uh, conversely, on balance volume, where is it at? Trigger line, it's getting a whipsaw, it's going positive and it's going negative, and a retreat from this point, absolutely doable. You do have two recent greens in the form of the volume price trend and the volume weighted MACD. Volume weighted MACD is already losing some steam, and uh, the dual volume flow could easily turn green. So, yes, we could have three greens in the minors, but we would be maintaining the reds in the majors. So, <laughs> I hope the bird calms down. Uh, but anyways, that's what I see. And I think that it's likely. Could you just bounce off of this? Absolutely, you could. And if you were to turn these green, then absolutely be a fantastic, wonderful run. But uh, for the moment, I simply would not trust it at all. Um, I might as well look at it this way as well which is the uh, VWAP. And yes, the VWAP is way up here just below 44, uh, but nothing looks healthy for it at this moment, but I think that it will soon. Uh, in any case, according to the VWAP, a dip down to 35 right here would be outside of the, uh, the best buying area. And uh, so maybe it's a gamble waiting for that, but I think it's, uh, I think it's a good, uh, I think it's a good thing if it can get there. Um, beyond that, 60 minute time frame, because we could have a daily that looks, you know, one way and the 60 minute will say something totally different 
and here we are with the 60 minutes and uh, this to me says quite a bit uh, because you have uh, you have this high it wasn't able to exceed it uh, you know started uh, stair stepping which was nice had some higher lows etc etc and then it busted it right here just a couple of days ago and broke the uh, broke the formula here a lower high lower low it has to challenge this support that seems absolutely necessary to me at the moment uh, beyond that what do you have you have the 14 day RSI moving average in the 60 minute time frame moving down from a high level in addition to that you have a uh, secondary reset on the stochastics which has already crossed the 14 day RSI moving average and is turning down along with the CCI along with the RSI along with the MACD and uh, not quite the MACD histogram yet you can also see the descending highs on the MACD histogram so this in the 60 minute also tells me this definitely should be tested and if it can hold it great if it breaks it then absolutely it should be going down towards that 35 level that's what I think uh, maybe it won't get to that point but it definitely should have some kind of a move down uh, ultimately to this that should be the uh, the end of the line for this if it does do that descent um, and that's what I see um, and that's it as always all investing decisions are your own this chart and video are for entertainment educational and consumption of time purposes only thank you very much